Hello everyone, this is Carly again. Um, I guess what I'm just seeing here on this uh, college campus. Um, just uh, thought that while I'm waiting to meet this person and book talk to you about possibly renting uh, space and performing here on this campus, I uh, thought why would you do a Bible challenge that Angel wanted us to do. So I just got to you Roman 8. So here it is. Uh, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Uh, verse 3. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened, weakened by the flesh. God did by sending his own son in the likeness, likeness of things for us to be a thing offering. And so he condemned things in the flesh, in order that the richness requirements of the law might be fully met in us, who did not live according to the flesh, according to the spirit. Uh, those who live according to the flesh hide the mind on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. Um, uh, verse 7. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not commit to God's law or can, do, can it do so. Um, and then verse 8, those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God lives in you, amen. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, then even to your body is subject to death because of sin. The Spirit gives life the ties of a tree. And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body, the ties of His Spirit, lives in you, who lives in you. Uh, therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but it is not to the flesh to live according to it. Uh, and then he says, verse 15, For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For those who are left by the Spirit of God are children of God. Uh, the Spirit you receive does not make you slaves, so that you live in fear again. No, that's right. God does not want to live in fear. That's right. Like a stage in the Bible, it's a perfect path past that all fear. Yeah, he wants us to live by the Spirit. Because when we live in the Spirit, then the enemy cannot, you know, try to put fear in us, you know, making us feel worthless, being condemned, you know, uh, not to, um, to do what God wants us to do. But when we spend time in His presence, when we walk in His presence to come, when we walk in the Spirit, not by the flesh, you know, we can have God's grace to help us. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then we're going to go back to 15. The spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you receive but about your adoption to sanction. Yes. And adoption to sanction and by him we cry, Abba Father. The spirit himself testifies. <laughs> The verse 16, the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are here, here of God, co heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his suffering, in order that we may also share in his glory. And then it's going to go to verse, uh, jump down, all the way down to verse 26. 
in the same way the spirit helped us in our weakness. We do not know what we are to pray for, but the spirit comes us in the sea for us. Who will us groan? And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the spirit, because the spirit is the seed for God, keep us in a going with the word of God. And then verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, <laughs> who have been called according to his purpose. And then And then we jump on to 31. What then shall we say in response to those things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who does not spare his own son but give him up for us all, how will he not also along with it gracefully give us all things? <laughs> Amen. Thank you. And then I'm going to read three four. Who then is is the one sorry, who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died more than that, who was raised to life. He at the right hand of God and is also in the scene for us. Thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, hardship, or partition? I feel like I'll be experiencing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and then, fam or nakedness, or danger, or sword, as is. And then, 37. Knowing all these things, we are more than conquered to him who love us. For I am committed that neither death, or life, or angels, or demons, neither princes, or the future, or any power, neither height, or death, or anything else in the creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. God is good. <laughs> yeah, so I just pray that this verse will speak to you. Uh, may God just pour His love on you and give you strength and joy and peace and just to know that God wants you to walk in the Spirit, not in the flesh, to continue to die to yourself, let the Holy Spirit fill you in the areas where you feel drive when you feel frustrated, <laughs> you know, angry, you know, I mean, just like I've been kind of experiencing the black two days, you've been kind of mad that I couldn't perform on the uh, Queen campus, you know, because, you know, the rules and, you know, money, you know, money, too much money, and I can't, it was I can't afford to pay, or uh, because the ministry on campus were not able to, you know, do it for the ones who, who deserve the root faith, I mean, I couldn't do it, so, anyhow, uh, right now I'm just going faith, question two that God will open the door when men can accept and be praying for favor as a me on this other campus on this college campus um, and be praying for favor that when I talk to this person uh, about possibility performing here on this campus in this cafeteria mm -hmm. you know <laughs> uh, there's a stage that I can wait over there um, hoping that I can use that space uh, just, to, just to share the joy and the love and Freedom and expression and just me to keep a smile, you know, you know, and I still go going to midterms right now, probably and kind of stressed, you know, a lot of school work and you know, you need to want some experience and I want to dance so to enjoy, to dance and enjoy. So, <laughs> so I just uh, just pray for favor, you know, and also I want to teach classes as well and I just pray for a room on the campus so uh, we know not too much money, you know. Pay the favor if they want me to pay a feed, which I probably will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just pay the favor if I uh, put a little bit of payment plan or uh, and I oh God would provide somehow. <laughs> so just pay the favor as I talk to this woman about this. Uh, yeah. Because I am I know that God has called me to do this. He wants me to do this. To show, you know, the joy and the peace and the love to my fans. You know, because, and I'm not going to figure out I would not push anything in the bay, that's not what I do. Just to my dance. So, and then, you know, it's got to be easy to pray or something like that, but that's not why I'm going to be doing it. I'll be here just to dance and just to trace people. So, yeah. <laughs> and yes, it's got to be easy for me to pray or a word or a Christmas, and yeah, of course. But, yeah. 
and, you know, so anyway, I just encourage you all uh, to not give up on your dreams again. I just like to stay up to you, but you know, I'm not right now in this kind of season for that couple of days. Um, just uh, encourage you not to give up. If God put, put your dreams inside your heart to where that is, if that's dance, if that's singing, if that's painting, you know, to share with other people the gospel, the message that will bring joy and happiness and positive vibes, you know, the kind of family that's good in this um, in the midst of hope and, joy and healing, love, yeah, <laughs> so I just encourage you not to give up and to take a step of faith like I'm doing today at the college campus, just, uh, just going for it, <laughs> just to meet the person who's in charge of this, at renting it. I uh, encourage you to do the same thing, you know, if, that, if you need a space or something to show your painting, for example, like a dog, a car to the paint, um, and, you want to, and you, you want to share it with people, I encourage you to step out and just pray for favor, and then, you know, hopefully that you know, God will interview you when you're, when you're talking to the, whoever you're talking to in charge of this you know, place that you're doing, about, either on a campus or um, art galleries or or a park, or, or, or something, or a private space somewhere, or, or the mall, or something like that. Like another place I'm hoping to do too. I'm hoping to do that at the Cat Center as well, maybe doing the, maybe doing the Christmas holidays, or before that kind of thing, you know. Like me, before, after I do my Savage Army cuddle, so I might want to do something before I do it. <laughs> and just kind of, kind of flow with that. Or even a different one, I don't know. So, anyhow. Um, <laughs> I again, just step out, do not give up your dreams, so God pray inside you, and your passion, and let your light shine. <laughs> so, bless you all. Again, Jesus loves you with every last you love. And do not give up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, again, let's say, um, yeah, so step out, step out, step out. Let nothing hold you back. In Jesus' name, no limitations. Wherever that is, if that fear, if that you know, if you have any issues in your life, you know, that's trying to stop you. I encourage you that I let that stop you. <laughs> to step out. Yeah. <laughs> share joy and love with everybody. Everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. So bless you all. Uh, rise up and take your place. So I take a lot of things. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. In Jesus' name. Again, uh, this is Tari from Joy for Ministry the car in here practice a roller of joy. <laughs> yeah, yes, and, and Lord, as I'm here to release your joy right now to every, every street, Lord. Release your love, your peace, and your joy. Yeah, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, everybody. Oh, I also want to release to you bonus. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Stepping out and bonus. To do what, you, what, you, what God called you to do. And even if you, you know, to step out, go to places where you think you, you, know, that you don't feel like you should be, but God will open your doors. <laughs> so, bless you all. Bye!